Hello, gonna be back on a regular basis now. And we're trying this orange 8A today, which is really cool. And it's like, I'm not even sure how to do it. It's like body tension on slopey crimps. So that's what we're gonna work on. Already kicked off by the first move and what makes it so hard right away is that the holes are quite poor so it's like really establishing a good body tension that you can go from is quite difficult and you have to get them just right or else it's not going to go down. But also on a side note the ventilation system in here is broken so usually the super texture dependent holds are even more texture dependent and it's more strength. Good times! super low percentage for me. And is there nothing with the left foot? Like, so you pull your hips and it's easy for you to do the lock. Okay. So I think pull more with the right foot in the beginning, just like, uh, get that squeeze in easier. Yeah. And then you go. But I think you've done that when you did a sun, sun go. Yeah. And you did the shoulder thing when I told you, so I mean, you've done it before. But it is stickier in here now. <laughs> it's, yeah, the holes are really terrible, actually. <laughs> Oh, that was it. Yeah. That felt really good, and then I missed the hold. <laughs> yeah, dude, here we go. Keep it <laughs> So it felt really good there, but it's really, it is like a 95% power move for me. So as soon as I hit the, the root on the, the hold on the box, I was like, okay, energy levels are way lower than I expected. And then the next big lock is really power expenditure as well. And then the rest is kind of like this weird deep lock sequence where you're just kind of moving your hands over to the left to prep for the dyno. And I hit those, those moves and just like, messed up my feet, messed up my beta. And then the rest of the moves all actually all feel really good. But there's a bunch of red point cruxes per se. All the moves are like near 90% power for a lot of them. So even after you do them, they just get harder and harder because you're more tired. And then the last move is really cool because it's a super like sketchy low percentage dyno. And the hold they're going to is not so good and kind of tricky. But we've seen some gnarly falls at the top. So Let's see what happens. Keep tight. No. Oh. I waited way too long. I was like, you know, shake out on the worst holds on the route. <laughs> no worries. But then I messed up the fall because I was super scared, like falling my butt on my phone. So I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so what is the lesson? Don't call me the phone or? Eh, don't fall. <laughs> Brush the holds up, took a five minute rest, so see if it goes. It's funny because it's not so much an endurance problem, this. It's like, it's just a max strength move. So you really only have X amount of times to give it before like, you don't, you're actually like lacking that amount of strength and power you need to pull it off successfully. Good times. Right foot popped. Let's check this out. So it's like, there's not so much rubber on the bottom of my shoes. 
and I had so much on it, it was like, Doosh! and I kind of felt it just like explode off. But, you know, it happens. I'm definitely like increasing the amount of time I have resting between these. Just want to make sure like every go is kind of high quality, I guess. I know I can be really bad about like wasting attempts. That's like my tip of the day, I guess, is proper resting between attempts. God. That was super nice and it's like the motivation, the energy levels, the beta, it just all came together. And for me that was like all of the moves that I had a project. None of the moves I was able to get like right away. So that's a really like successful, like fulfilling project. Like, that's why I like climbing. Those milestones. Especially since a lot of those moves I would consider my weakness, even though I have stronger fingers. That's really satisfying. And it's nice to be able to like close a project in a video instead of opening like five at once. I mean like, never gonna see these again, <laughs> no worries. But yeah, so that's that. And so what was the lesson learned? I think the biggest takeaway for me is like creating movement with your hips while still maintaining body tension, which was really epitomized in the first move. Yeah, and proper resting is definitely the takeaways from this route. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe because it makes us happy. Have a great night.